this is batshit crazy, right? This is this is this is a dude uh, <laughs> mask below his nose. I mean, that's that's the that's the silly part of it, um, and. You know, I don't even know what these are. Porn breasts, something, sex toy breasts, uh, with giant nipples showing uh, that he he declared himself a woman recently and uh, and is apparently teaching shop uh, using this saw on the right here for those just listening. And, you know, as far as I know, the mainstream media, which has the well-known liberal bias, has not touched this at all, except maybe to denounce the right-wing media, including Fox, of course, and you know things like the Daily Wire and other places, uh, for being basically turfy and transphobic-y, for saying that this is a this is a problem. And there there are a lot of true things that you can say about why this is um, inappropriate. Right. Uh, this is that that is not a woman that is uh, appears to be a man living out a sexual kink uh, in front of children and uh, forcing uh, public school, you know, young, young adults, but, you know, high schoolers uh, to engage in sexual to respond to sexual display because he's he's their teacher. But the thing that actually maybe most interests me about this because you know that's that's just more of the same. You know, so much, so much of the trans activism is not about the tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of people who are really, truly trans, but about women and womanhood being appropriated and disappeared, and uh, and um, pretending that what you know what a woman is is a costume that you can wear, uh, as opposed to actually being a hell of a lot deeper than that. But the piece of this story that I think that is interesting to me is this is this is a shop teacher. And again, I have not I have not gone into the biography. I don't know. I barely know more than what I've said here. And I did that sort of intentionally because I'm sure there's a ton out there. Um, but a shop teacher, a shop like a lab, the very first moments of the very first day in shop or lab have got to be the safety lecture with things like closed toed shoes only. And if you've got long hair, you pull it back and, uh, you know, maybe you even have to, you know, secure it under something. And not only is this guy wearing these crazy, ridiculous boobs, um, but he's also got this wig, I assume, uh, long flowing blonde tresses that are also not tied back as he's operating this uh, chop saw maybe miter saw miter saw um <clears throat> and you know that's that's not what shop teachers do and this makes me think this makes me hope that this is this is a big troll uh that this is someone who is so done with the nonsense, with the DEI nonsense, with having your words policed and starting to have your thoughts policed and being told that all you have to do is uh, decide that you are the sex that you're not born to and suddenly you can get away with everything. Well, this person is going to put a just a grotesquerie, a clownish caricature of womanhood on, make it hypersexualized with the, you know, with the erect nipples and come to class and do this in front of, of students. If it was an English teacher, unfortunately, I'd be like, okay, may, may, I'm, I know that there are English teachers this confused, but if this is a shop teacher who actually still has all of his digits or even is just missing a little bit of one or something, but learned the lesson of whatever happened, um, there's no way that this, that this is for real. Well, wait a second. Yeah. I need to ask you a question because it seems to me that this is clearly a troll, but it could be one of two different kinds, Okay. right? It could be a conscious troll who's trying to reveal how confused civilization has become because yeah. it can't even prevent somebody with grotesquely, technologically augmented breasts from teaching. Well, they're not real. They're not augmented breasts. Their prosthetics. Okay. I mean, I, I must say, I have not been paying attention to the story. But 
it's still technology. Yes, but it's not augmented. It's anyway. It's that makes it sound augmented. like this person is walking around like that, like all the time. Like no. Okay, well, still, he gets home, he takes that shit off. Okay, like, <laughs> makes makes a great deal more sense. But the yes. point is, it could be one of two different. Look, yeah. Can you imagine? I mean, look, you've got a Zuby style troll. Mm -hmm. Right now, Zuby is what? a yep, person. Yep. Uh, I I I find him to be quite a wonderful, thoughtful person. And what he did as, as somebody who is very serious about weightlifting is he declared his, himself female and smashed the uh, female deadlifting record and then went back his to being a class. guy. <laughs> yep. And his basic point is, look, the rules you have set up make this a completely legitimate phenomenon. I have now just become the weightliftingest female on earth right because you've set up a system that is completely uh open to being gamed by any man who wishes to do so right okay so that's a conscious troll that is well intentioned the purpose is to reveal the idiocy of the of the truths that we are the so-called truths that we are now trafficking in right. right it could also be one of these other kind of trolls who have decided oh you're going to declare transness sacred? Mm. I can do anything I want as long as I'm trans? Well, why not? And so you have these guys taking advantage of it, basically daring civilization uh, to call them out. Right, but if you have successfully been using power tools for your professional life, yeah, and now you've donned gigantic balloons yeah. in front of you, and you've got a wig on... And presumably they're both attached to you, so, you know, he slices the tip of one of those prostheses off. It's probably, presumably not going to hurt. He gets his hair caught in a saw that um, catches him and pulls him down. You know, that, that could be very dire indeed. These are just, these, these aren't reasonable shop practices. Of course not. Uh, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you that it's a troll. I'm trying to figure out whether you imagine that it is a well-intentioned troll designed to reveal that we have all become very stupid around this issue or it is a um an ill-intentioned troll designed to take advantage this but i feel i think i just answered that question there if, if this person has been a successful shop teacher has been using these kinds of tools in his professional life for some number of years he would not throw that level of understanding and safety out the window in order to pull a malicious prank. It's well, I don't know, right? But I will say, okay, now I get your hypothesis and it makes a prediction, mm -hmm. which is that he will reveal it. Right. Right. Um, if it's yeah, well-intentioned, you know, it has to be revealed. Know. Yeah, re revealed one. You know, it could be a lot of things. You know, maybe <laughs> he, I, I, I saw a letter supposedly from the school. I don't know if it's legit that says actually it would be illegal to not let her, you know, express her gender identity. Bull, but okay. Um, so, you know, maybe the hope is that he gets fired and then he could take it to court and then, you know, you don't reveal it until, you know, it goes through the justice system. Right. So I don't know. I'm just saying like this, those, for, those pictures and they came out, what, a week and a half ago or something are so preposterous. It seems like it has to be a fake. It's not a fake. I mean, the, the, the boobs are fake, but you know, it's like this person really did show up in class and some of the students really did take uh, covert photographs and video. And um, there is apparently um, a protest by parents and some students outside the school now to you know make make him stop right and you know the the more of that the the more people who are pushed into oh my god i'm not i don't i don't want to be going out and protesting but i i have to because this is insane because that person is not a woman and my kid should not be forced to pretend that that is a woman and to see that and to have their the entire downstream the entire rest of their lives be affected by having had to be in class with that that's yeah. it's it's barbaric we've gone barbaric well it's it's barbaric but i would also there's a there is a legal question here right presumably if that's a person Canada. 
so I don't know. They still have laws. I, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I like, they don't enforce. I, I, I don't know what. I don't know what. What you're going to invoke here, but just remember, it's not the U.S. we're talking about. Okay, it's Canada. It's a cold matter of law. Um, <laughs> okay. Presumably, yep. if a shop teacher became so fat that they could not operate the saw. Yep. Right. Yep. Then they couldn't be a shop teacher because it's not about their fatness. It's about the fact that actually you are physically incapable of operating the device that you're supposed to be teaching people. Right. This person is your point is close to this. It's not yep. fat, but what it is is well, if they were real, something so compromising yeah. of their ability to safely operate these kinds of tools that the point is: look, it's not about. The, it's not about what's under your shirt. It's about the fact that there's so much of it there that you can't do the job for which we hired you. And obviously, this we cannot have a civilization in which you are entitled to hold a job that you cannot conduct because of kink or whatever it is. Right. Right? We have to be able to say, look, one of the prerequisites prerequisites for this job is that you can do this job. Yeah. Well, I mean, th this story also just feels to me like it, it It gets at this point that we were making last week, that we make in the book, that we make all the time about physical reality versus social reality, right? I'm sorry, you woke up feeling like a woman today doesn't make you a woman, but that saw could chop those things off. And that's true. And the physical reality of that saw, you've got it plugged into the wall, those electrons are, <laughs> are moving, and so is the blade, and I don't care how you feel, and neither does the saw. Like the physical the reality saw. is the physical reality. Yeah. <laughs> the, the saw is turf. This, yeah, physical <laughs> reality is a turf, for sure. All of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Sorry, um, guys, but it is. Yeah, no, the, the, you're right, and it's interesting that this exists if it is a conscious troll, I don't think it gets revealed after a court case. I don't think it, it, it should it go to court. It doesn't go there. Yep. Um, but uh, if it is a conscious troll, then you know it does successfully reveal that we've become so dumb that when somebody is actually going to put students in danger because they can't demonstrate the basic safety protocols for the equipment in question, right, that we still can't bar them from the classroom, of course we have to be able to do that. Right, but uh, I guess just even if it's not a conscious troll, it reveals that. It should. In, intention, intention of the shop teacher doesn't change what the fact that the mainstream media, the mainstream media's silence on this and therefore complicity reveals that we are just that dumb at this yeah. point. Yeah. Regardless of what the intention of this insane behavior is, <laughs> and I just, I'm, I'm just hopeful. I like, I, I just, I, I've been thinking about this on and off since I first saw those insane pictures, and went like, God, I just really hope this guy is in on his own thing. Yeah, it, it's, it's presumably better if he is. Yeah. Um, but I would point out that we have a dumb system in which, uh, you know, the race to get attention has certain exploitable loopholes. And the point is, if you want to take, uh, you know, a, a costume like that to the next level and create a social confusion as yep. one team pretends not to notice and the other team becomes obsessed, right? That's a way to, you know, get to the... But if he was gesticulating in front of those enormous breasts while talking about Chaucer, the it, it, would, it would be more muddled. Like how... Okay, you're still doing sexual display in front of children, and that's unacceptable. Um, but you're not, you know, Chaucer's at no risk here, right? Yeah, I mean, Chaucer would be hard to follow either way. But, yes, uh, I, don't, I don't know if Chaucer is taught in high school. I, yeah, I certainly... Oh, it's... Yeah. Uh, Chaucer is taught in high school. I just don't think it's learned by me, because it's, <laughs> yes. it's difficult to, yeah. to know yeah, what no, it's, it's about. It's, but it's, it's tough. Yeah. yeah, it is tough. Maybe that uh, was the wrong... Maybe, maybe Tolstoy. Okay, we're back to Tolstoy. We're, we've come full circle to <laughs> war, Tolstoy. War, peace, war again. Yeah, yeah, no, war. War. That, that was going to be the sequel. Yeah, yeah, no, it was war all along. It was war all along. Yeah.